Good morning, Grace Hill family and friends. Brad's sermon last week focused on faith. And the foundational verse for his message and for the devotionals has been Hebrews 11 verse 1. Now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and the assurance about what we cannot see. There are several aspects of faith that I thought about this week. The first is we need to trust God implicitly. There were men and women in the Bible, in the Old Testament, like Sarah, like Moses, like Abraham, like Isaac and Noah, who trusted God implicitly. The second thing is belief. The belief that God works all things for our good. He wants the best for us. The third thing is that we have to be obedient to his bidding. So we have to be guided by God and trust and believe that he has our best future at heart. And then hope rises that we know that we will have the best outcome we could wish for. I think of Noah, who listened to God. He obeyed God's instructions. He built this humongous ark while everyone was mocking him. It was a drought. There was no rain. And he must have taken a lot of strain. And it took a lot of work to build that large ark. And it turned out for the best for him and his family. Trust is something that we have to have in order to have faith. So the words from Trust in You by Lauren Daigle, the one verse says, Truth is you know what tomorrow brings. There's not a day ahead you have not seen. So in all things be my life and breath. I want what you want and nothing less. So how are we trusting God? Are we believing that his ways are best for us? Do we have faith in him and his word and that all of it is true? And if we do and his promises are steadfast and what's best for us, we have faith in buckets. So how is your faith going? How many trials are you going through? Have you got faith that God has your best interests at heart? Step out into the next week. And have hope for those things you cannot see. And just know God will make the best things come true for you. Have a blessed week.